this net will protect us from one of the most dangerous creatures on the planet. Is it a lion? Nope. Snake? Nope. Cute puppies? No, little kitty. It's none other than one of the most ruthless species of mosquitoes called Edes, which is responsible for carrying the dengue virus, a topic we all must be aware of. So, let's zoom in. Dengue fever is a serious illness spread by mosquitoes, carrying a virus belonging to the Flavi Veridae family. Members of this family have four distinct types, namely DENV1, DENV2, DENV3 and DENV4. It is vital to have proper knowledge about their types as treatment is given accordingly to create lifelong immunity against that type only. Unfortunately, protection against the other three types will be temporary and if someone gets a secondary infection caused by them, then they are at the risk of getting severe dengue fever. But the vital question is, how can someone get infected by the virus? Well, the dengue virus is transmitted to humans through the bites of infected female mosquitoes, mainly the Aedes aegypti mosquito, and to some extent through the Aedes albopictus mosquito. These are the same species of mosquitoes responsible for spreading other diseases such as yellow fever, chikungunya and Zika virus. So, when any of these species bite a person who's been infected with a dengue virus, the mosquito can become a carrier of the virus. And when the carrier mosquito bites someone else, the virus takes the opportunity to get inside the new host. Once they are in, after a few days, the person will start to show symptoms like severe headache, pain behind the eyes and in the joints, muscles and bones, rash over most of the body, mild bleeding from the nose or gums and a very high fever up to 105 degrees Fahrenheit. Fortunately, most cases of dengue fever are mild and go away on their own after about a week. But if you notice any of the said signs, then it's crucial to rush to the doctor ASAP. Though there is no specific treatment available for dengue, however, mild cases can be handled by drinking lots of fluids to prevent dehydration and by getting plenty of rest under an expert's supervision. But the most vital question is, how can we prevent this disease in the first place? Well, the first and foremost thing is keeping the infected person safe from further mosquito bites to stop the virus from spreading to others. Make sure to wear long-sleeved shirts, long pants, shoes and socks when going outside. Avoid staying outside in the hours around dawn and dusk when mosquitoes are most active. While at home, use the doctor's recommended insect repellent and cover your beds with mosquito netting at night. But the most important thing is, don't give mosquitoes places to reproduce. Yes, as they lay their eggs in accumulated water, make sure to clean any standing water around your house. Also, be sure to change the water in dog bowls, bird baths and flower vases at least once a week. And on top of that, share this video with friends and family to spread awareness about Tengi. Trivia time! Did you know an estimated 400 million people are infected with dengue each year? Also, you'll be shocked to know that a person can become infected with dengue 
up to four times in their lifetime. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. And done. Never mind.